Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Fabiano Caruana and Sergei Karyakin. This is a game from St. Louis Rapid Tournament played in 2017. Fabiano Caruana had white pieces and he started with d4. Sergei Karyakin played knight to f6. Bishop to f4. Is it going to be a London opening or maybe Paris opening? Let's see. d5, e3, bishop to f5, knight to f3, e6. Is that a symmetrical or is that a symmetrical? Why to move? c4 was played. Bishop to d3 is the most played move. c4, black to move. Sergei Karyakin played. Bishop takes knight on b1. What do you think of this move? Normally, you don't exchange a developed piece for a piece which is not developed. But there is a reason for this in this particular position. Why to move? Queen takes on b1. The other way is to go. If queen to a4 check, the knight to c6, and after rook takes on b1, Bishop to b4 check. I guess black is happy again. What else? If rook takes on b1, bishop to b4 check, king to e2, bishop to d6. Mission is accomplished and black is happy again. So how can white avoid all these problems, if you want to call them problems? Well, let's go back. In this position, Instead of knight to f3, white can play c3, knight to d2, or c4. Okay, back to our game. This is the position. Queen takes on b1. Bishop to b4, check. King to d1. Sergei Karyakin castle kingside c5. c6, bishop to d3. Knight from b to d7, king to e2, bishop to a5, on the way to c7. g4, the start of the pawn storm, on the king's side. g6, if knight takes on g4, bishop takes on h7 check. So we have g6, queen to g1, h4 could be next. Black to move. What would you do in this position, if you had black pieces? Karyakin played the best move, b6. Karyakin wants to open the b-file. That is his best chance for the counter-attack. h4. b takes on c5. h5. Black to move. Bishop to c7 was played. c takes on d4 was even stronger. Bishop to c7. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight. c takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. Knight to e5. h takes on g6. This is a very interesting moment of the game. How to recapture? With h pawn or with the f pawn? Note that the pawn on f7 is defending the pawn on e6. Does it help with finding the move? No, it doesn't. Karyakin played the best move. f takes on g6 in order to defend h7 pawn with the rook by playing rook to f7. That is the idea. But what about knight takes on e6? Forking the queen and the rook. Karyakin surely saw this move and had a solution for this. What is the solution for this problem? Karyakin played the best move. Queen to b8, attacking the pawn on b2. Queen to b1. If knight takes rook, queen takes on b2, check. King to f1, queen takes rook, check. King to g2, queen takes queen and after rook. Or king takes on g1, rook takes knight. And white can resign. Back to our game. Queen to b1. Rook 
to f7, bishop to f4, knight from f takes on g4, f3, attacking the knight, and now knight takes on d3, bishop takes on c7, black to move. I guess first move that comes to mind is rook takes bishop, do you agree? Karyakin played much better move. What is the best move for black in this position? Karyakin played queen to e8. Queen takes on d3. Even if f takes on g4, queen takes on e6. This is also good for black. Queen takes on d3. Queen takes on e6. Bishop to g3. What else? If f takes on g4, queen takes on g4, check. King to d2. Queen to g2 check, king to c3, rook takes on c7. And this position is extremely difficult for white to play. Back to our game. Bishop to g3, rook to e8. The pressure is on the pawn, on e3. Bishop to f2, again, taking the knight, doesn't work. Then queen takes on g4 check, king to d2. Queen takes on g3, and after say rook from a to f1, rook from f to e7, rook to e1, rook to e4, and black is much better. Back to our game. Bishop to f2, and now white is threatening pawn takes knight. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. What did you find? Did you find knight to e5? This is not a bad move, this is quite a good move. But Karyakin played a killer move. Can you see a killer move in this position? Karyakin played rook takes on f3. What a move, what a move. Why to move? Rook from a to f1. If king takes on f3, the knight to e5 check winning the queen. So we have rook from a to f1, black, play the move, and white resigned. The move is rook from e to f8, threatening rook takes bishop. Caruana resigned, the bishop can't be saved. If bishop to g1, rook takes rook. And what else? If bishop to e1, then rook takes on e3, check, winning the queen. That is why Fabiano Caruana resigned in this position. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.